Good day everyone, I am Jeon, your moderator for this webinar on the behalf of the organizer company called Conference Panel. I welcome everyone for today's webinar which is called Growing Your Team, How to Recruit and Select the Right Employee. I would like to introduce our presenter for today, Jay Ashur. Jay Ashur is B-A-M-B-M-C-C-A-C X1151, is the founding partner of Shore Solutions, a national award winning medical practice consulting firm assisting demo assisting dermatology, surgical, and aesthetic practice with their operational, administrative, and financial health. Jay served as the vice president of the operations and practice administrative for the leading board certified dermatologist and cosmetic surgeon in South Florida. So now I would like to hand over the floor back to our speaker. Over to you, Mr. Jay. Thank you very much, and thank you for the honor of being able to present this webinar to you titled uh, Growing Your Practice and How to Recruit and How to Select the Right Employees. Front and foremost, let's discuss what the four or you know basic principles are. In the world of medicine, medicine is a science, naturally. It's a way to heal the sick and the injured. Medicine, you go to the doctor for you don't feel good, you're sick, you get hurt. But in our business, aesthetics and cosmetics, it's a way to keep our patients looking young and beautiful because the aesthetic medicine fee-for-service cash-based practice is what that's all about. And it's a way to keep our patients looking young and beautiful. Now, medicine is one of the most respected professions today. Well, let's start off with in the U.S., Indeed is probably one of the largest recruiting uh, symbols that we can get today. LinkedIn, ZipRecruiter, there's all these different types. And who are you really going after? Are you going after the unemployed or are you going after the currently employed? Because honestly, when you're recruiting, a person is worth more when they're currently employed versus when they're unemployed. So then we look for is somebody currently in school? Are they in school for a medical assistant degree or certification? Are they in school for an esthetician? Are they in school for a provider, a physician, a physician assistant, nurse, a nurse practitioner, even physicians? Now, are they receiving training from other injector training programs? Very important because when we're recruiting, maybe we should be looking to some of these other programs so that we can get good, seasoned, skilled people. So how do I handle new recruits asking for more money than my t current team members are getting? This happens to me all the time, all right? This is very difficult because you might say, I have somebody asking me and I've had employees that have been with me for a while. Unfortunately, I say that if somebody comes to me and they're a brand new employee and they come to me with a skill set, I value that can bring me more money, more revenue, more profit, or they may have more general experience in the industry than my existing employee who has been with me for a long time, I'm going to do it. Unfortunately, in my offer letters, in my contract, I ask that this not be discussed, that it be kept confidential and why I never understand this, but employees somehow, some way, feel a need to discuss their pay. And it's dangerous in the workplace because that's how they find out that Mary made more than Susan. Next thing you'll have an anarchy that Susan's coming in and saying, why are they getting more money than me? I wish that would never have happened. So here's some items to discuss prior to the employee starting. What is the initial starting time? And will that change over time? Your starting time is going to be 9 o'clock. It's going to be 8 o'clock. If it's in the operating room, it's going to be 6 o'clock. Why? Because there are some people that want to come to the doctor's office for any kind of procedures after 5 o'clock. So if you have office hours, 6, 7, 8, you need to have that properly staffed. When you're not busy, what is the person supposed to do? Hopefully, there's always something to do. So they should always have some tasks. You should always have some tasks to perform when your staff members aren't busy whether it's general cleanup, dusting, um, organize my shelves, organize the consents, print new consents, paperwork. If you're not online, anything that you can do, organize and create new processes, which is you know policies, procedures, and protocols that align with your practice and your practice only. So what administrative tasks does the provider um, need to perform. If it's a provider and you need to know that, and this all has to be part 
of an initial onboarding procedure. Once your staff is hired, I want you to remember something. Teach them your mission statement. That's what you have to do, all right? Now, teach them a mission statement and do you have a mission statement? If you don't have a mission statement, start one. Make one up. An easy mission statement, I'll make one up right now, is our goal is to treat each and every staff member and each and every patient with the utmost of respect and dignity each and every time. And our service is to be excellent between our practice and the community in which we serve. And I won't even hire somebody if they're not computer proficient. And of course, as the baby boomers, they're slow to learn, but it doesn't tend to let it disrupt the workplace. Whereas the younger group, Gen X, Gen Y, Gen Z, millennials, they grew up with this technology and they have a feel uh, that they need to be connected constantly. Clarify your expectations right from the get very beginning. What is your open door policy? how to allow them to give feedback, whether or not they call somebody by doctor so-and-so, what is your communication policy, what is your cell phone policy. So what are your team values as we close? Your team values are very, very simple. Treat each and every team member with dignity and respect. Allow them to have work-life balance. Give them fair benefits. And we have self-care items. Embrace their staff strengths with social media, creativity, people skills, and more. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you help to recruit and select the right employee. You need to contact us. You can contact us and look at our website, www dot shore s h o r r solutions plural because we have more than one solutions dot com i thank you for taking the time out of your busy day to enjoy this webinar on growing your team how to recruit select the right employees thank you very much